So me and Cody are doing this video to show everybody what we have for our craft bingo. The first prize was donated by Ingrid Brooks, my lovely cousin from Indian Island. She's a well-known um, artist anyway in uh, quill work and um, bead work, regalia making. She also makes these moss bags and she started painting and oh my god it's so nice. You can find her on Twitter as Ing Bling. So this uh, baby in a moss bag was donated by Ingrid. So thank you Ingrid. And its value is $100. <clears throat> Don't mind me, I have a cold so I'll be uh, clearing my throat every now and then. This uh, basket was donated by my great aunt Annie. And she was really excited about my craft bingo and she wanted to help me in some way. So she donated this basket to me and the one who made it was my grandmother Evangeline Sunny Pass and I topped it up with all of these beading supplies so you have all these rhinestones in there there's uh, silver rhinestones pink there's a whole bunch and there's also a bunch of uh, <clears throat> beads in there some flexi firm everything you need to make earrings so this value is a hundred and twenty my grandmother usually sells her baskets for eighty dollars the next prize we have is this beautiful dream catcher it's from a Cree artist and it was uh, one of my students that I taught him how to do a different style of beading and he taught me how to do this so I had used my own supplies and he made this for me and uh, I'm sad to give it up but I know whoever wins it is going to be really happy and the value of this dream catcher is 120 and what size is this rim Cody I believe it is a 10 inch rim yeah so you can see my hand there how big it is compared to it so it's beautiful and it hangs about how long would you say we measured it one day uh, I believe it was like a meter 30, 32 okay 32, 32 inches. inches yeah it hangs so it's made for a big window <laughs> The next prize we have are these two uh, jewelry sets and I wanted to do two because I know like some women have really big wrists and some have really tiny ones so me and Cody made these and he did the earrings right here and I did the chains so there's those pair and those pair they're really shiny and they're beautiful and the, they attach with ribbon in the back satin ribbon we have so it will look really classy after this oh yeah what's the value of those uh, 150 so that's the value of 150 and we made them so they're authentic <laughs> the next prize I will be giving away after those are these uh, Gojua dancers Mi'kmaq woman and a Mi'kmaq man they can be removed from the picture frames and worn as necklaces and uh, this guy right here, this Gojua chief, he was uh, won a first place ribbon in a showcase, a cultural showcase in the Mi'kmaq Summer Games in Millbrook this year. So after he won that, I, a first place ribbon, I decided to make him a woman right here. So she's got her real long hair and Mi'kmaq designs on her dress. So I really love those. And what's the value of these, Cody? The value is 170 170 for the two, and they come with the picture frames. The next one are little quill people, what I call. My Aunt Diagi taught me to do, me and Cody to do quill work about, I don't know, five years ago, I, th I would say. Yeah. A while ago, anyway. So this uh, middle star was made by my Aunt Diagi, and... She's from Indian Island, and you can see her work on Facebook as Audrey Sunny Pass Big Ma Quill Work Artist. And I'll just zoom in on that so you can see some of her details. She uses really fine quills, and um, it's it's beautiful. <laughs> uh, the other ones are my <clears throat> Mi'kmaq man and Mi'kmaq woman design that I. Oh, you gotta sort of come back some because your shadow is getting in the. 
she's a medicine woman right here. She's picking medicine off the ground. She's like, hey guys, I found some. <laughs> the next one is this Mi'kmaq star woman up here. She's dancing up in the sky and you can see the stars all around her. I have um, a nighttime fisherman right here that was made by Cody and he has an e-link spear and he's also posing for my memory. <laughs> My artistic memory. <laughs> and then this is um, Little Quill Man, I, I called him. He was like my first one that I made. And he's at a sunrise ceremony. You can see the sun behind him. And the uh, quills here represent the grass. And he's just standing there down near the water praying. So those are all done on birch bark. And they all have... Uh, sweet grass around the edges and they can also be removed. I added, like you can see some of the beads up here. I added so you can remove them from the frame and you can hang them like on a Christmas tree, on your rear view mirror, you can hang them on the wall, whatever, wherever you want. So the value of these is... A hundred. Yeah, and I think what it is is my aunt sells one of these for like 80, around 80 or something like that. So. There's those ones. The next prize is these baskets. So I just go from like the lowest price item and work my way up. And each one of these baskets is worth $80. That's how much my gram sells them for. And she's made baskets. I, I Did I mention that earlier? That she was seven when she started and now she's 81 or 82. And um, they have all three of these have sweet grass in there as well and they have different designs on them these are like jigga jigs they call them but uh i guess in these ones are snails i was going to say something but i changed my mind these are snail designs here and uh just, you can see the sweet grass in there and then up here they have some uh, porcupine designs so they sort of like they, they match each other sort of like they back some so you can there we go. So all three of those baskets are worth two forty. Two forty. So eighty about eighty dollars a piece. Oh, and the vase can be um, you can actually put water in there because she made it like right around the vase, so you can see down there. And then this one just opens up like this. It's a chair basket. People call it miniature fish basket, jewelry basket, sewing basket. So that's her chair basket and then this one yeah I'll, I'll just open up so you can see there we go there's that and right here so after that the next prize is my a basket made from my grandfather Joe John Sunny Pass he's from Ilsebukduk New Brunswick and he makes these uh, baskets that are how much does he sell these for? 300 300 <clears throat> And um, they're pretty sturdy. So the top just comes off here. And you put your dirty laundry inside the basket. And you carry it around. It has uh, these handles on the side of it. You see there's one there. And then there's a handle right there. And I'll just back up some so you can see how big it is. So yeah, that's another prize that's going to be given out, is that hamper basket. Then the next prize we have are these drumsticks. They're made by my husband, Cody Claire. Oh, thank you, uh, made out of Joe John, for making the basket. And thank you, Aunt Annie, for donating this frame as well to put the quills in. And I also want to thank Michael R. Denny from Eskasoni, Nova Scotia for helping me name some of these characters in Mi'kmaq. <clears throat> I'm not going to try to say them right now because I'll probably butcher them, but thank you Michael Art. So back to these drumsticks here. Uh, they're made by Cody and he learned from his, our friend Trevor Gould from Buttongag, Nova Scotia. And thank you Trevor for teaching Cody how to make these. Do you want to say anything about these? Well, the um 
what I use, the materials that I use to make these drumsticks, I use, um, I use the reflector poles to to what to uh, to make the stem and then I have duct tape okay and then I have um, <laughs> then I have leather for the the handle and the beater uh, that's um, pigskin suede I helped Cody make these drumsticks and I learned that drumstick making is really hard work. Your hands hurt, your fingers hurt, and your brain sort of hurts because you see all these, like, you're working with these little tiny pieces and, like, they all just look the same and you have to cut them to be even. Like, I think the first time we put these on, they were all uneven, so we had to take them off and redo it again, so it wasn't uh, easy and it took us a while to finish this set. And this uh, set is worth 400, Cody says. So, and it has uh, 12 sticks in there. So, how long are these? Uh, they're about 20, 22, 22, 23 inches. Okay. Oh, well, yeah. Those are nice, Cody. <laughs> The next prize we have is this set here. It's valued at 500 and it's all quill work and birch bark. And uh, there's also deer hide in there, dye, uh, white deer hide, and the quills in the middle here are dyed as well. This is uh, birch bark in the back, so we have an eight point star on birch bark. <clears throat> and um, the earrings are also wrapped around birch bark. So this type of uh, quill quill work is called uh, wrapping. You can sort of do some research on how it's done and when uh, me and Cody were doing it, it was a lot of hard work and you'll learn that working with quills is like a delicate art because they're so sensitive and you have to water them in order to bend them and so yeah, so we have the two um, hair ties. We have a choker here. We have the earrings, the headband, and the barret. So that's going to be the final prize of the craft bingo, like for crafts anyways. But I'm also going to have um, a couple door prizes for people, handmade uh, door prizes. And I also um, would like to thank everybody who's interested in coming to our bingo. And we reserved six spots for uh, people who uh, live more than an hour away that can't make it or if you live out of province and you want to play but the deal is you have to buy advanced tickets so that uh, we can reserve those spots for you so it's going to be thirty dollars a book and the uh, winner take all and the 50 50 are sold separately but these are all the beautiful crafts that are going to be going up for grabs and it's all the value is all over two thousand. So you spend thirty dollars and you win a prize that's worth a hundred or more. So thank you for your interest. Eh? Yeah. Alright then. <laughs> Bye.